oftentimes dominance, like aggression, fear biting, it all get lumped into one and people just they, they go through it as one uh, transition. They're all different. Knowing the difference between a dominant dog, a dog that's a fear, has fear aggression, and a dog that has uh, dog on dog aggression and people aggression, you have to analyze it. Um, normally, in this video, you're going to see uh, Chris petting this German Shepherd. And as he starts petting him, he starts to growl. This is a sign that he's letting Chris know to back up. He's not scared of Chris. He's not fearful of Chris. His body is going to start to get tense. And he's already preparing himself for the combat. Watching these signs are the best things that help you when you're dealing with a dominant dog. Pre-attack mode. He's, he's, his tail is starting to slow a little bit. He's probably panting in the uh, muzzle. He's getting ready. Chris starts pulling on the ears, trying to rub him, trying to relax him. But it's not helping. And there it is. And that's the pre-attack. All that happened within 50 seconds. Believe it or not. Understanding the difference in a dominant dog, a fear aggressive dog, and um, a dog that just has some minor uh, behavior, uh, like resource guarding, it's very important. So if you know if you're dealing with a dominant dog, things can go bad rapidly real fast. You'll see after he did that, after all the domination, and you can see his body posture. He's in a MMA fighting stance. He's ready to go. Slowly comes out of the stance. That's why you're here he coffee. starts to come back down and within 30 seconds this dog went from being good bad so he's been, good he's been, now he's in a non-aggressive mode so he's changed within seconds this is neurotic behavior the dog is extremely yeah, dominant and extremely aggressive so knowing the signs knowing how to deal with these dogs is extremely important for public safety and i hope you guys enjoy watching and we continue to try to help others